my speech was full of things that you already said. <laughs> so I'm, it's very late already. I'm going to make it short. Maybe next year we shall all take our instruments and make a big you know, music evening. <laughs> I think 50 Steinways would be very nice here. Um, um, where do I start? I start with Laura Engel, who I met with Bobby Urban t uh, 12 years ago. After she heard the score of Girl with a Pearl Earring, she called me up. And uh, that's where my Hollywood uh, journey started. So thank you, Laura. She's table 21 for those who are looking for a good agent. I'm very honored, thank you BMI and, and, and you know, for giving me this award after so many prestigious composers, some of them are, are here tonight and I'm, I'm very humble in front of you. Um, you mentioned the, the, um, the story of my parents in, in America and yes, there is this, there must have been this very strong uh, collective and conscious uh, force that drove me to, to become a film composer here in, in California. Um, my father used to play a lot of American music, of course, because he had brought back from America a lot of jazz. And I, I think that's why I started with the love of American music. And I'm not talking about American culture, because that would take too long, but um, I remember him listening to Jake Ellington, Louis Armstrong, uh, the 1939 version of Body and Soul by Coleman Hawkins, which launched the boppers, which became my idols. And then uh, the whole history of jazz just came along and I was a flutist and it was difficult to, to find a great jazz flute player. So I would just listen to the saxophone players, the uh, trumpet players, the piano players and just take down the solos and play them on flute. And as I was researching um, about the PMI and what I could tell you tonight, I realized that most of the music that I, I still listen, or listen to in my car or when I travel, whatever, um, is mostly music that have really gone into my DNA. And if I look at the dates, it's quite embarrassing because they're almost all around my year of birth, um, which shows again this strong collective and conscious that I think has been uh, surrounding and overwhelming me. If, I mean, we all know, and I'm happy to share it with you, this Miles Davis album of 1959, kind of blue, uh, the Bill Evans album of 61, The Village Vanguard, where he plays this beautiful version of My Foolish Heart. Um, 1963, Ballads by John Coltrane. And if we go to, to the singers, we can go to Sarah Vaughan and Quincy Jones in 1960, the album You Remind You. Um, the Gershwin songbook with um, Ella Fitzgerald and Nelson Riddle. I think that's 1961. And if I look at the film composers, I realize there again that the iconic film composers and films themselves that have um, accompanied me through the years, the, the scores that have always been near me are always around the same years. Psycho, 1951, Bernard Herrmann. Um, Alex North, in 1960, um, 1961, The Misfits, and I think 62, I forget which one. Leonard Bernstein, West Side Story, 61. Elmer Bernstein, Manifest in Seven, 1960. And I could go on and on, <laughs> as you can understand. And of course, from the 60s to the 70s to the 80s, we come to the late Jerry Goldsmith, 
who influenced all of us by his, the range of music he could write. And of course, John Williams, who's uh, become the lighthouse for all of us to follow. So I just want to, to thank these incredible composers who have opened a path and musicians to all of us. I want to thank all the American musicians who have here accepted me and honored me, who record my music in the studios here. They are the, the people I respect the most because it's maybe the hardest thing being a, a musician. The discipline that it requires is incredible. And I was saying to someone earlier that if I want to conduct, it's not only to give my input to the musicians, but it's also to be with them, sweating with them in the studio, and be, you know, it's an incredible moment of joy and, and, and sharing to be leading a, a, an orchestra. And uh, I wish to, th <laughs> yes, thank you. Great contractors, Peter Rotter, thank you. I wish to name a few other people, Conrad Pope, Jean-Pascal Bentus, Mark Graham, Nan Schwartz, um, all the sound engineers who spent you know, their life sleeping with us at the console, instead of being at home with their wives. And, um, and I want to thank you all for listening to me. Thank you. Yeah.